Hey food fans, welcome back to another episode of Then We Eat. I can tell you it's cold. It's really cold and if you're anywhere in North America right now, it's really, really cold. So this week we thought we'd uh, bring back a little bit of summer um, and we'll be making cream of asparagus soup. So during the summer, we uh, froze some asparagus. You can see the video on how we uh, how we did it. Uh, it'll be over in the uh, in the side here. Um, so we've got a whole bunch of it here. I don't find that asparagus really cooks that well after it's been frozen, but for soup, it's absolutely perfect. So we're going to go ahead and start with uh, three tablespoons of butter. Okay, so once you've got the butter melted, then we're going to go ahead, we're going to add one small sweet onion and about two stalks of celery. And you just want to cook this down. Um, you don't want it to brown, you just really want to sweat the onions. Okay, so once your onions have cooked for, well, five or six minutes or so, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add uh, about three cloves of garlic. Probably a little bit more. And we'll just cook that for a couple of minutes. And once again, you don't want to uh, brown the garlic, you just want everything to kind of just melt. Okay, so once we've got the garlic cooked for two or three minutes, then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add some spices. We're gonna add a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of thyme, and a teaspoon of parsley. Then we're just gonna deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine, probably about a quarter of a cup or so. We'll just scrape the bits off the bottom, let the alcohol cook off. So we'll just cook that down till the wine's reduced by about half. Once you've got the wine down to about half, then we're going to go ahead and add the asparagus. Uh, in this case, my asparagus is frozen. As I say, we, we did this during the summer. Um, if you're using fresh asparagus, I suggest you cut it down to about half inch pieces or so. All right, and then we're going to add about six cups of chicken broth. All right, so that was about two pounds of asparagus. Um, we're going to uh, just let that simmer away for about 20 minutes or so. If you're using fresh asparagus, you may need closer to about a half an hour. Um, when you freeze it, it tends to break down a little bit, so it won't take quite as long to cook. So we'll just let that simmer for about 20 minutes or so, and we'll be back. Okay, so the asparagus has been cooking for about 20 minutes now and it's time to uh, blend it. It's probably going to take a couple of blenderfuls, so it'll take me a minute. So probably as you can tell from the state of my sweater, it would probably be a much better idea to use a stick blender. Unfortunately, ours caught fire, so we couldn't do that. So we're going to continue this way and hope that I don't cover any more of myself in this. Okay, so uh, once we've got it all blended, we're gonna put it back in the pot. Oh, carefully. So to this, we're just gonna reheat. And as we do so, we're gonna add about a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Do yourself a favor, buy the block of cheese, grate it yourself, it's much better. And the last ingredient is about a half a cup of whipping cream. All right, so we've uh, reheated the soup, so let's put it on a, in a bowl and uh, give it a taste. And the soup is ready on this very, very cold day. So let's give it a taste. Mm. Tastes like asparagus, just like it should. Nice flavor from the cheese and a little bit of black pepper on top never hurts anything. So if you like this video, hit the like button and share it with all your friends. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload new videos. We try to upload new videos every week and don't forget we put all of the ingredients down in the description so that you don't have to keep track while you're following along. So don't forget, first we cook, then we eat. Mm. So good.